What's up guys, it's Devin, or that child gamer, welcome back to another Doki Doki video. We left off, we are at this. It's really, it's really horrifying. Um, yeah, last time we, we just, we had a fight and Monica was forcing me to be with her, with just Monica. Now this happened, so I think, I don't know about you guys, but I think I'm gonna choose Monica. Yeah, you picked me, oh god, what the frick. Well, we can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all the work and then taking Devin for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I, don't need, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Devin away from me for every single time you're not included in something? Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you ever considered killing yourself? It would be, it would be beneficial to your mental health. You're, you're scaring me a little. Suki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us to be around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want to spend is a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Devin. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Devin, there's no need to spend the entire weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day, it'll just be the two of us. Doesn't this sound wonderful? Oh, okay, the music's being very distorted. <laughs> well, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore! I never felt this good in my whole life! Just being with you is far as greater pleasure than anything I can imagine. I'm addicted to you! It feels like I'm gonna die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? It feels so good! Then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is what's gonna happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first, but the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Devin. I have to tell you, I am I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. Please, Devin, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I can I can even touch myself with the pen I with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself. I want to be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? This sounds really horrible. This sounds really creepy. I want... I, I need... Can I get a restraining order? <laughs> Tell me, Devin. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Ah, uh, no. I don't. <laughs> oh. Well, this happened. This is very gruesome. Viewer discretion is very advised, and I'm probably going to put that at the start of these videos, now that I think about it. Yeah. She's dead now. Good job, Yuri. You could have solved that a completely different way. But no. You chose to kill yourself. How do you feel? <sighs> wow. What, what's all this? Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of the things I love. Oh my god! Now that you're a, a club member, you can help me make the dream true in this cute game. Every day is full of chit-chat activities. Monica the leader club. And of course, Monica the leader club. That's, that's me. So this is Monica right now. Welcome to the Literature Club. Okay, now that you're a club member, you can help me make the dream come true in this cute game. Every day, this, is, this is all the same thing. And it even talks about Sayori, the youthful bundle of sunshine who values happiness the most. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go save? Can I save this? Hell yeah, I can. Um... Okay. Does this end? 
Does this end at all? Can I go to the main menu? Can I go? Can I? Can I go to the main menu? Nope. Apparently, I can't. That's not okay. This is not okay at all. Get me to the main menu. I don't like this. Please let me press. Let me press the new game. Let me press the new game. I don't like this anymore. Let me see. Uh, oh, come on! No, oh, don't do this to me. Okay, main menu. Come on, we got this. One more time. We can hit it this time. Nope. Guess you can't. Okay. Well, let's skip all this then because I'm not gonna freaking go through all this. I guess I can just wait. I have no idea how long this is. Oh, it just changed. What the heck? The, the site just changed. That's fun. Oh, I see what's going on! I'm spending the entire weekend with her here. I'm just sitting here with her the entire weekend. And it's becoming nighttime now, and this is, I think this is like Sunday night, so soon now Monday's gonna come around, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be daytime again, and it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna bring me hopefully to the next part. Now it's daytime again. There we go, yep, I'm correct. I was very correct in that, in that scenario. I think Sayori's in the background again, you know, hanging herself. All that fun stuff. Alright, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? Yeah. Ah, that's disgusting. That's really disgusting. That's it. What, what's the problem here? Oh, she probably saw Yuri. That's why she probably saw Yuri that just that that killed herself. I'm here, Devin. Did something happen? That Suki just ran past me. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, you were here the entire weekend, Devin? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super so the scripts. I I told you guys this is all Monica. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. And now she just removed Yuri. Okay, I see. And and Atsuki, that's great. I'm almost done. Now what? What are you gonna do? I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from blah 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 train takes a cupcake. So that's probably Natsuki. Um, that's not in the game anymore because her file just got deleted. Seriously, these are the best. I just really had to have one since it's the last time I've the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I sh really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? It should only take a second. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? Is this working? Yay, there you are. Hi again, Devin. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. What the hell is this? Um, of course we already know each other, because we're in the same class of last year, and um... <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game? Whatever you want to call him? I'm talking to you, Devin. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you- Oh, okay. So Monica right now is talking to me as of right now, the person behind the computer screen. Like me right now, drumming on my desk. She's talking about me, like right now, the person who's talking, using my voice right now. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Yeah, you know, she did. <laughs> she did tell me that. That was pretty funny. Man, if only you had paid a little more I did! I did know this! Well, anyway, now that this is out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri? Well, okay, well, apparently her name shows up somehow. Because even though her file's deleted. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess I just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping that it would be enough for me just to try and make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there. 
since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayuri more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you, and amplifying Yuri's obs uh, 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 obsessive personality backfired too. I just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Devin? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I catch, while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Devin. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind, how thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand the one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world, in this game. Knowing my friends don't even have the free will. And worst of all, knowing that what's really out there, in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Devin. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Devin. I don't think that I could have uh, continued to live in this world that if I haven't met you. And as for the others, how could I have missed them? As a group of un autonomous... Auto Autonomous? Okay, sure. Personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird invitability etched onto this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That's it. All that, That's all just some game. And I knew you were going to get over it. So that being said, Devin, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in the game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile this, like this every day from now on? Devin, will you go out with me? Well, you're not giving me much of an option here. I don't really like this. Um, is there like a secret no I can press? Like, can I press like the, the curtains or something? No? Okay, sure. Why not? You seem a little bit, you know, at least you're not crazy. <laughs> I mean, you kind of are, but you're a little more calm about it. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Devin. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We could be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Devin. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken and at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Atsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go to the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with just a click of a button. Click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out of the, uh, if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Oh, you're funny. You're really funny. Look, her, her character's even in the game now. That's really funny. I'm just going to keep clicking this because, sure. Hi again, Devin. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Ah, Devin, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There's really no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of, our, of her pen, the, lo the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold a special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is that all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, or I guess you could call it. 
I just assumed it would be best to be a part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't have to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Devin? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? If it takes me some more time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Well then. That's very interesting. So, with that being said, um... I have to delete her character file. Because she's talking about the game directory and there's a folder called characters. And I know this because I remember having to go into that file. Ow. I, you ever have that happen? That thing happen where you just get anxious for no reason? Like you're just minding your own business and you realize you're feeling really anxious? And you're sitting there like, what am I even anxious about right now? So you start to think about all the things you might be anxious about. And that makes you even more anxious. <laughs> That's the worst. If you're ever feeling anxious, I'll help you relax a little. Besides, in this game, all our worries are gone forever. I want, I know I'm supposed to delete her file, but I want to see like just kind of what what different things she'll say. Because I want to see just how many things she'll say until she starts looping back around. Until it gets too long and then I have to stop. <laughs> what are you going to say next, Monica? What, what's your next comment? After a long day, I usually just want to sit around and do nothing. I get so burnt out having to put on smiles and be full of energy the whole day. Sometimes I just want to get right into my pajamas and watch TV on the couch while I eat while eating junk food. It feels so unbelievably good to do that on a Friday, but I don't have anything pressing the next day. Uh -huh, sorry, I know it's not very cute of me, but a late night on the couch with you? That would be a dream come true. My heart is pounding just thinking about it. That's interesting. Gosh, I used to be so ignorant about certain things. When I was in middle school, I thought that taking medication was an easy way out or something like that. Like anyone could just solve their mental problems with enough willpower. I guess if you don't suffer from mental illness, it's not possible to know what's really what it's really like. Are there some disorders that are overdiagnosed? Probably. I never really looked into it though. But that doesn't change the fact that a lot of them go undiagnosed too as well, you know. Right? Sure, okay. But medication aside, people even look down on seeing a mental health professional. Like, sorry that I want to learn more about my own mind, right? <laughs> Everyone has all kinds of struggles and stresses, and professionals dedicate their lives to helping with those. If you think it could help you become a better person, don't be shy to consider something like that. We're on a never-ending journey to improve ourselves, you know. Well, I say that, but I think you're pretty perfect already. Did you just give me, like, an actual real-life tip? It's like, okay, well, if you're feeling mental, go see somebody. Guys, listen to Monica for once. <laughs> if you're feeling mental, go see somebody. <laughs> Start talking about Sayori and stuff again. By the way, there's something that's been bothering me. You know how this takes place in Japan? Well, I assume you knew that, right? Or at least you decided it probably does. I don't think that you actually told me at any point. You're actually told at any point where this takes place. Is this even really Japan? I mean, are they, aren't the classrooms and stuff kind of weird for a Japanese school? Not to mention everything is in English. It feels like everything is just there because it needs to be, and it actually, and the actual setting is an afterthought. It's kind of a, it's kind of giving me an identity crisis. All my memories are really hazy. I feel like I'm at home, but I have no idea where home is in the first place. I don't know how to describe it any better. Imagine looking out your window, but instead of your usual yard, you're in some completely unknown place. Would you still feel like you were home? Would you want to go outside? I mean. I guess if we never leave this room, it doesn't really matter anyway. As long as we're alone and safe together, this really is our home. And we can still watch the pretty sunsets night after night. My timer just, uh, my timer just buzzed. Um, but I want to see, like, just one more thing, and then I'll, and then I'll delete our character file. You know, it kind of sucks to be the creative type. It feels like they work so hard, but get almost nothing for it. You know, like artists, writers, actors, it's sad because there's so much beautiful talent in the world, but most of it goes unseen and unpaid. I guess that just means there's a huge surplus of creativity, huh? Kind of makes you feel like you're just not special at all. But that's fine, you're supposed to just write for yourself anyway, right? Yeah. Monica, you're such a crazy person. 
I'm going to, uh, I'm probably just going to edit these parts out and stuff and, and just edit to every part that she says something until it, like, loops around, until I get bored or something. Because I'm intrigued in, in what she has to say and see what kind of things she'll say about, and I wanted to start talking more about the characters and stuff. You know, it's been a while since we've done one of these, so let's go for it. Here's Monica's writing. <laughs> Here's Monica's writing tip for the day. Sometimes when I talk to people who are impressed by my writing, they say things like, "I can never do that." It's really depressing, you know. As someone who loves more than anything else to share the joy of exploring your passions, it pains me when people think that they're being good. That being good just comes from naturally. That that that's how it is in everything, not just writing. When you try something for the first time, you're probably going to suck at it. Sometimes, when you finish, you feel really proud and even want to share it with everyone. But maybe after a few weeks, you come back to it and you realize it was never really any good. That happens to me all the time. It can be pretty disheartening and put so much t uh, to put so much time and effort into something and then realize it sucks. But that tends to happen when you're always comparing yourself to the top professionals. When you reach right for the stars, they're always going to be out of your reach, you know? The truth is, you have to climb up there, step by step. And whenever you reach a milestone, first you look back and see how far you've gotten. And then you look ahead and realize how much more there is to go. So sometimes it can help to set the bar a little lower. Try to find something you think is pretty good, but not world class. And you can make that your own personal goal. It's also really important to understand the scope of what you're trying to do. If you jump right into the huge project and you're still an amateur, you'll never get it done. So if we're talking about a writing, a novel might be too much at first. Why not try some, uh, some short stories? The great thing about short stories is that you can focus on just one thing that you want to do right. That goes for small projects in general. You can really focus on one thing or one or two things. Such a good learning experience and stepping stone. Oh, one more thing. Writing isn't something where you just reach into your heart and something beautiful comes out. Just like drawing and painting, it's a skill in itself to learn how to express what you have inside. That means there are methods and guides to, and basics to it. Reading up on that stuff can be super eye-opening. That sort of planning and organization will really help prevent you from getting overwhelmed and giving up. And before you know it, you start sucking less and less. Nothing comes naturally. Our society, our art, our everything is built upon, on thousands of years of human innovation. So as long as you start on the foundation and take it step by step, you too can do amazing things. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. You know, this is just some kind of tacky romance game, right? I kind of have to ask. What made you consider even playing in the first place? Were you that lonely? I feel a little bad for you, but I guess everything worked out perfectly in the end for both of us. I got to meet you and you're not lonely anymore. I can't help but feel like this was a fate. Don't you feel that way too? I'm so happy we have this ending together. Do you ever feel like you waste too much time on the internet? Social media can practice practically be like a prison. It's like whenever you have a few seconds of spare time you want to check on your favorite websites and before you know it hours have gone by and you've gotten nothing out of it. Anyway it's really easy to blame yourself for being lazy but it's not really even your fault. Addiction isn't usually something that you can just make disappear with your own willpower. You have to learn techniques to avoid it and try different things. For example there are apps that let you block websites for intervals of time or you can set a timer to have more Concrete, a more concrete reminder of when it's time to work to work versus play. You can set us, uh, or you can separate your work uh, in play environments, which helps your brain get into the right mode. Even if you make a new user account on your computer to use for work, that's enough to help. Putting any kind of wedge like that between you and your bad habits will make you stay away. Just remember not to blame yourself too hard for having trouble. If it's really impacting your life, then you should take it seriously. I just want to see you be the best person you can be. Will you do something today to make me proud of you? I'm always rooting for you, Devin. Great. I'll remember that. Okay, well without further ado, I'm going to pause the video, delete her file, and then I'm going to come back and things are going to be beautiful. And we are back. I had just deleted her file, and we're going to see what happens now. What's happening? Devin, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Devin. 
Please hurry and help me. Run pie file. Okay. Help me. Yeah, she's trying to she's trying to get her character back, huh? Ha 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 ha, you're funny. Ha ha. There you go. <laughs> you're funny. Did you do this to me, Devin? I'm gonna leave us off here actually. Because uh, I'm gonna try and finish this. The, the next video is gonna definitely be a finisher for the uh, for the series. It's gonna be a shorter video to end it off. Uh, next video, so be looking forward to that. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. I'd love to listen to the channel, guys. Check out my Discord. It's gonna be a fun time for all. Link will be in the description. Come meet me outside of YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed me enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. And I hope to see you guys in my next one. Goodbye.